everybody, it's Holly from Baby Gizmo, and today I am on Park Location to show you the Thule Urban Glide Stroller. Now, this isn't only a great everyday stroller, but it's a great sport and jogging stroller. It comes in a single that we're gonna show you today, but it also has a double option. So let's take a look. So let's go ahead and start with the seat. The Urban Glide has a nice roomy seat with a weight capacity of 75 pounds. Now guys, you want a high weight capacity on a sports stroller because unlike regular strollers, your kid's not gonna probably ride after age four or five years old, but when you wanna jog or you wanna use it as sport use, you're probably gonna put an older kid in the stroller. I've put my seven and eight year old in a stroller before when I wanted to jog long distances because they can't keep up. So I love a stroller with a high weight capacity. So up to 75 pounds. Pounds, that gives that's a, probably a seven to ten year old guys so I love the fact that the seat is roomy it is 15 inches wide with a 21 inch seat back and a measurement from the back of the seat to the top of the canopy of 25 inches it has a great padded secure five-point harness and what I love about this harness is the buckle this is Houdini proof <laughs> you know you have those toddlers that can escape the harness and they're like jumping out of the stroller not this one this buckle is easy for the parent to do but so impossible for your toddler to do my out. can you unbuckle it my out my happy out. Just don't show them though, don't show them the trick. It's a two-handed buckle. You have to push both red buttons with your thumb while squeezing the black buttons underneath and that is the only way to release it. Kids cannot figure that out on their own and then they have to stay seated. The last thing you want is your child to be unbuckling themselves mid-run. So I love the buckle on this. Also, there are two mesh pockets on the side of the seat and that could be a sippy cup or snacks or whatever you would like. Now let's go ahead to the recline. The recline is a one-handed recline down. It's a strap recline. It's very deep, great for a nap. And then it's just two hands. You just pull and squeeze and that goes back up like that. So I love the fact that it has a deep recline. Now, before we go down to the basket, I wanna show you that there is a large mesh storage pocket on the back of the seat. Plus, when you recline it, there is a mesh window here that allows air to circulate through the seat to keep your baby cool while you're out and about. And then you can just tuck that up there. Air can circulate through, unless it's cold, and then you can go ahead and put that down. It has two little magnetic closures to hold it, and then you go ahead and put your seat right up. Now the basket underneath is fantastic. Actually, it's not even a basket. It's more of a storage compartment. It has a zippered lid that's water resistant. So if it were to start raining, your contents of your storage compartment would stay dry. It also keeps the contents out of sight, which I love. There's also a pocket right here so that you can throw your wallet or your keys. But the storage compartment is quite roomy. I can get a large diaper bag in here. This is the that's the Jujube BFF and it fits nicely in there and I could still zip it closed and everything and it will be completely out of sight. And then when I wanna go ahead and access the contents, all I have to do is open up the lid and I can get the diaper bag out easily. The Urban Glide has a three wheel design like all sport and jogging strollers. It rolls on a front wheel that is air filled and 12 inches. The rear wheels are large 16 inch air filled tires. You want large wheels in the back guys when you're using it for jogging or sport use. It's gonna make it much easier to push. I also love that it has rear wheel suspension and you can see the suspension. Not only can you see it on the stroller, but you can see it absorb the bounces. So I love that. It also in the front, it's a 360 degree swivel wheel like that but it has the ability to lock straight with this big blue knob here there are blue things on here and that means they have a function on the stroller so you just go ahead and turn that it locks it in the place you want to jog with a stroller with a fixed front wheel and, and this does that so I love the fact that that's a fixed front wheel then if you are using it for everyday use then you just turn it and it lets it go free there's also a little tracking dial here so in case when it is locked like that and the stroller isn't completely going straight. So it's just like a little alignment dial so that you can allow the stroller to go a little straighter. The stroller also has a one step brake. You just step down on the red pedal like that and it's gonna lock it into place and then you lift up with the top of your foot. 
so let's talk about the handlebar and the canopy. It's a foam covered ergonomic handlebar that is adjustable up and down for shorter and taller parents, which is fantastic. It sports a runaway strap, which you're gonna put that on your wrist. And in case when you're jogging and you let go of the stroller, it's not gonna keep going because it's attached to your wrist. Now the canopy, this is a fantastic canopy. It's two large panels plus a pop-out sun visor. It sports a large peekaboo window on top with a cover, and I love that the cover has magnetic closures to keep it closed, or you can go ahead and roll it up and tuck it under if you wanna keep a constant eye on your child. Now this is a floating canopy, and that means I can move it down in front of my child to follow the sun, or I can just keep it back like that. So I really like the sun protection on this. Now the maneuverability on the Urban Glide is fantastic. Now the stroller literally glides along when you're running. Maybe that's why they called it the Urban Glide. I don't know, but the maneuverability is really e really easy to do. You can turn it with one hand with the front wheel swiveling. Um, it glides when you're running or when you're using it for everyday use. The rear wheel suspension absorbs the bumps. So you're really not gonna have to fight with the stroller when you're using it for sport use, which I love that. So let's go ahead and show you how the stroller folds. So folding the stroller is really easy. It has a one-handed fold. All you have to do is lift up this piece right here by the footrest. There is a big blue handle right there. All you have to do is slide over, twist, and it folds down like that. It has a standing fold. It does have a lock, but it's a manual strap lock over here. You just go ahead and lock that if you want to keep it in place. The stroller is super light, guys. It is only 23 pounds. Very, very easy to transport. Plus, when you have it folded down, as long as you don't lock it, let's go ahead and unlock it, you can pull it behind you if you are moving it from place to place. But at 23 pounds, it's really easy to pick up as well. Now, unfolding it, you just have to undo your lock. If it's locked into place, you just go ahead and lift your handle up like that. It's a really easy one hand unfold and fold. So I really, really like that. So there you go, guys. That's my look at the Tule Urban Glide. It comes as a single, like we showed you today, and retails for $399. It also comes as a double and retails for $649. I love that it has an adjustable ergonomic handle. I love the roomy seat with a high weight capacity of 75 pounds, so you could allow a older child to jump in for a ride. I like the storage compartment under the seat that has the zippered lid that's water resistant, and I like the tires. So that's it. What did you like most about the Urban Glide? Leave me a comment and let me know. Also thumbs up this video if you want to see more baby gear or stroller reviews and don't forget to subscribe to the baby gizmo youtube channel and hit the notification bell so that you are notified when we have a new video so that's it for me i'm holly from baby gizmo bye guys